मिली बग्स आर वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉमन एंड हार्मफुल पैस डेट कैन स्प्रेड वेरी रेपली एंड कैन किल योर प्लांट्स विद इन डेज एट द स्टार्ट द ट्रीटमेंट इज सिंपल एंड ईजी एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ यू कैन सेव योर प्लांट्स इफ दे वर अटैक बाई मिली बग्स सो कीप वॉचिंग एंड डू सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल Before the treatment of mealybugs we have to know what are these mealybugs so they are the pests commonly small in size ranging from 1 to 4 mm with oval shaped body their body is covered with a white powdery substance that works as a protective layer here you can see some ants are also moving around the mealybugs this is because mealybug sucks the nutrients in rich liquid called sap from the plant body and secretes a sugary material which ants loves to eat and in return ants protect them from their predators Mealybugs are found worldwide and can survive in various climatic conditions and this thing makes them even more powerful and destructive for plants. Mealybugs can also divide them asexually that means male is always not required by the female to reproduce. This thing can also aid their spreading that's why mealybugs can go really harmful if not treated timely. Mealybugs commonly attack on a plant when the season is suitable. They like warm and humid area to grow and reproduce themselves. That means you will find mealybugs mostly in springs and summer days. The chance of mealybugs attack on a plant also increases if it is under a stress condition. Mostly mealybugs are found on a younger and newly growing branch. Mealybugs can attack on a wide range of plants like ornamental plants, indoor and outdoor plants, vegetables and flowering plants. Hibiscus plant, tomatoes, roses, aloe vera, cabbages, spider plant and lemon tree are some common names of its targets. Mealybugs can affect the plant differently but as they feed on the sap liquid that is the main source of nutrients for a plant that means infected plant most probably shows signs of nutrient shortage as you can see this is a hibiscus plant infected with mealybugs and it is also showing us yellowing and patchy leaves this is the effect of mealybugs attack if we don't treat it the plant may survive for a few weeks but then it will die stunted growth wilting leaves and distorted new shoots can also appear due to mealybugs attack Now let's talk about the treatment of mealybugs. So it will be very easy to treat mealybugs if you can identify them timely. Severe attack can be cured but may be hard for a new gardener. There are certain ways to remove mealybugs like pruning the most infected branches, using insecticidal soap and so on. But the most effective and successful solution to mealybugs is neem oil. Neem oil is made from the neem seeds and it's very beneficial but it only works if used correctly. You can also check out a detailed video on neem oil from the video description. But now let's quickly make a usable form of neem oil. It's simple, just take a liter of water in a bottle, add a tablespoon of neem oil in it. You can also use up to 2 tablespoons if the pests are more. Also add a tablespoon of liquid soap in it. Mix it very well and then spray it all over the plant. This solution contains neem oil smell that not only mealybugs hate but also ants doesn't like much. Another thing is its soapy nature that will trap the eggs and younger mealybugs in it making them immovable. This will suffocate them until they are dead. Try to use it at the evening time. The next day you can also apply it again if the pest attack is not reduced. This is after 2 days of neem oil spray application. Here you can see the infected branches now have a very few mealybugs on them. The grayish forms you can see on the screen are the dead mealybugs. You can spray the liquid again on your whole plant. After around 2 more days here you can see this branch was full of mealybugs and ants and now it's fully normal. Here is another example you can see the infected branch now haven't any pest or insect. This way you can treat mealybugs on any type of your plant. A ready to use neem oil spray is also linked in the video description to buy must check it out. And now as you can see our hibiscus plant is free of mealybugs you can now try some tricks to boost its growth. Detailed video on that is linked here must check it out.